can go ahead and um, get started. So um, the first thing that we can do is let's just, you know, tell me your name and who you are. Um, my name is Monica. I come from South Africa. I was born in 1944, just before apartheid kicked in. Now, I was born in Cape Town. And if you can see the map of Africa, then you'll see that it's the two seas meet, the Indian Ocean, and then the Atlantic Ocean come right down to the bottom of Africa. And that's where they meet. And the last city in Africa is Cape Town. I believe there's a lot of stuff that's out there, especially on the internet now, but how to live your life and what you can do and light and dark and all that. But it is through people observing us, through listening to our stories that they actually learn. So I'd like for us as ordinary women of Africa and men of Africa to start telling our ordinary stories and about our ordinary experiences so that our children can learn. What was your goal and your vision for writing the book? My vision for writing the book was because I really felt that, I think there are two big reasons. The one is that there's no record of apartheid for young children. There's lots written about the Holocaust. And I thought that it needs to be recorded for our little ones. The book will give an opportunity for parents and teachers to discuss these things with little children. We will teach our children how to understand and identify inequality. I personally love that. Um because growing up, I do recall there weren't a lot of books that really spoke about anything outside of pretty much what happened in the States. Actually, you know, we kind of skipped over a question. Let's actually talk about the book. Can you kind of tell us, you know, what is your book? Tell us the name of your book and kind of give us a summary of what it's about. The book is about little Nam Nomganza, who is seven years old and who goes on a bus trip with her grandmother called Oma, me, I'm the Oma. And I talk as I saw apartheid when I was her age and how amazed I was at all these things. I just accepted them. So conversations with Nomganza, the uh, inequalities come out. And I'd like for the book to start a discussion in the classroom, in the home, with mother and a child, with auntie and uncle, sitting with a book and reading it together. And then talking about the issues without naming discrimination, segregation, inequality. I love That's that. Right. I love that. So yeah. what, what, what do you hope um, both children and adults take away from your book? that we actually need to recognize inequality. It doesn't matter what guise it comes under. And it's not only existing in apartheid, it's this thing now in our own, even in our own first world with the inequalities that exist between the haves and the have nots to recognize that the children downtown don't have the same opportunities to get out and to develop our leaders of the future who will stand up and recognize that no matter what their privileges are. And that's what I want to address. Inequality, not poverty, not deprivation. That will be with wherever we go, but rather recognize the evil of inequality. Um, and to start those conversations.